How to cancel a sale between two third-party finance companies. From the main menu, I will select C033, Sales Invoice Information. At the bottom, I will click Enter Go. This will display my invoice copy increase screen. At the top, I will enter my invoice number. Once I enter the invoice number, my sales order will display. Customer's name, address, and how this sale was paid. This sale was paid by Synchrony. It will also show a description of the merchandise that was sold. At the top, since my invoice ends with the letter A, this indicates a sale was split. So we will need to check our second invoice to verify if part of this sale is on our second invoice. And we will verify by checking the model number. The system will create a dummy SKU when the SKU has split into two. So I will write down this model number or memorize it, whichever is easier for you. Once I've written down or memorized this number, I will click new. I will delete my invoice. I will enter my new invoice, which is the same number. The only difference is it ends with the letter B. I will enter my invoice number and this displays my sales order information. Customer's name, address and this second sale was paid by City Financial and a description of the merchandise that was sold. On the model description you will see an asterisk, an A, an asterisk as well as before your description. An asterisk, an A, an asterisk. This indicates that it's a dummy SKU and we must cancel this SKU as well. This belongs to our first sale, so we need to create two separate cancellations to give full credit to the customer. It does not matter in which order you cancel. Since we are already in our invoice that ends with the B, we will process this cancellation first. At the bottom, I will click Cancellations. I will click Create. And I will select Yes. I will create a full cancellation. I will select reason and this will display our reasons. I will select merchandise out of stock. Here you will select new selection if the customer is reselecting or new, no new selection if the customer is not reselecting. I will select new selection, enter my comment, merchandise out of stock. Once you enter your note, I will click OK Save and Exit. This will display any other services that were sold. I will click OK Save and Exit. This will show the total of my cancellation. 579.12 of the merchandise, 5502. So the total being canceled on this invoice is 634 with 14 cents. I will click OK Save. My cancellation is complete. I will select yes and I will click print and this will print my cancellation to give credit to City Financial for the amount of 634 with 14 cents. Once my cancellation has printed, I will click escape and this shows that my cancellation is complete. Uh, for my invoice that ends with the letter B, it's a full cancellation the date, the amount, and that I printed my cancellation and the person creating the cancellation. Once this sale, this cancellation is posted, the status will change from printed to posted. I will click escape. I will go ahead at the top and enter new and start the process of my second cancellation. I will go ahead and enter my invoice, which is the one for the letter A. At the bottom, I will click Cancellation. I will click Create. I will select Y for a full cancellation. Reasons. And I will select the reason that we are making the cancellation. Merchandise out of stock. The customer is reselecting, so I will select New Selection. I will enter my note. Merchandise out of stock. Once you enter your note, I will click OK Save. This will display my delivery charts that is being canceled. 
I will click OK Save Exit. And this will display the total of my sale that's being canceled. The merchandise, my sales tax, my delivery charge. So my total is 1,500. This is the credit that will be given back to Citibank. To Synchrony, I'm sorry. I will click OK Save Exit. My cancellation is complete. I will select Yes. I will click Print and my cancellation for Synchrony is being printed. Once my cancellation has printed, I will click Escape, and now it shows on my cancellation for the invoice that ends with the letter A. I've created a full cancellation, the date that I created my cancellation, the amount that I canceled, the status as printed, and that I created the sale, the salesperson's name, or person creating the cancellation. I will click escape and the process of both cancellations have been created. Both cancellations must be posted in cashiers and you can restart your new sale again. The process of the cancellation for split sale has been completed.